Mbombela, also known as Nelsprate, is the capital city of the Mpumalanga province and is situated in northeastern part of South Africa and is home to a population of 735,000. Located on the Crocodile River, the city lies about 110 kilometers by road west of the Mozambique border, 330 kilometers east of Johannesburg, and 82 kilometers north of the Zwetini border. Mbombela was one of the 10 cities to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The stadium stands out with its 18 majestic orange giraffe columns that support the roof structure, and the 73,500 black and white zebra skin pattern seating. The town of Nelspreit, which is now known as Mbombela, was named after three brothers, Andres, Jert, and Lawrence Nell. They were early pioneers in the region, and were involved in the establishment of several farms in the area. In 1895, the Nell brothers met with railway surveyors who were planning the route for the railway line that would later link Pretoria with Lorenzo Marx, now known as Maputo. The railway line was a crucial development for the region, as it opened new opportunities for trade and commerce. The Nell brothers were likely interested in the potential economic benefits that the railway line would bring to the area and may have been involved in lobbying for the route to pass through their farms or nearby areas. Overall, the meeting between the Nell brothers and the railway surveyors was likely an important moment in the history of the region, as it helped to pave the way for the development of infrastructure and economic growth in the area. The railway station, named after the brothers, was established and in 1889, a survey of the area around Nelspreit station sets out 120 stands for future development. The settlement would become a key stopover for the Eastern Railway, built by the Netherlands South African Railway Company in the late 19th century which ran from the newly discovered Witwatersrand goldfields to Delagoa Bay in Portuguese East Africa, which is modern-day Maputo in Mozambique. The discovery of gold in Mpumalanga, such as at Pilgrim's Rest and Barberton, encouraged further development. In November 1895, the Hall family opened the doors of their new hotel, mainly to accommodate railway construction workers. The hotel is moved to the center of Nelspreit in June 1892 after the completion of the railway, to become the first building erected in the town named the Fig Tree Hotel. On 20 January 1898, permission was granted for water to be pumped into Nelspreit from the Gladys Brut. On the same day, President Paul Kruger signed a proclamation to establish the Conservation Park, which would become the Kruger Park named after him, and Nelspreit would become the gateway to Mpumalanga and the Kruger Park. Construction of a new railway line between Nelspreit and Grasskop began in 1911. The railway line was an important development for the region, 
as it facilitated the transportation of goods and people between the two towns. At the time, the railway construction was carried out using primarily white labor. This was a common practice in South Africa during the early 20th century, when racial segregation and discrimination were pervasive. The use of white labor was part of a broader pattern of exclusion and marginalization of black South Africans from many areas of economic and social life, which was not unique to South Africa. Similar practices were common in many other parts of the world during the same period, as railway construction was often seen as a prestigious and highly skilled profession that was reserved for white workers. Barclays Bank opened its first branch, and the first school was established in Nelspruit in 1916. It wasn't until 1918, when the post office opened its doors to the village. In 1922, Nelspruit was officially upgraded to the status of town. This was an important milestone in the history of the region, as it reflected the growing importance of Nelspruit as a center of commerce and industry in the area. The town of Nelspruit continued to grow and develop over the years, with new businesses, schools, and other institutions being established to serve the needs of the growing population. In 1962 the Rob Ferreira Hospital was completed and was named after Rob Ferreira, a former member of parliament and cabinet minister in the South African government. The hospital has since become a major healthcare facility in the region, providing a wide range of medical services to patients from Nelspruit and the surrounding areas. Some of the services offered by the hospital include general surgery, orthopedics, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, internal medicine, neurology, and psychiatry. In addition to its clinical services, the Rob Ferreira Hospital is also involved in medical research and training. The hospital has a number of academic affiliations and partnerships with universities and research institutions, and it provides training opportunities for medical students, interns, and residents. The Rob Ferreira Hospital is managed by the Mpumalanga Department of Health, and its mission is to provide quality healthcare services to the people of Nelspruit and the surrounding areas. The Lofeld National Botanical Garden was established in 1969 in Nelspruit, Mpumalanga, South Africa. The garden was created as a tourist facility, but it also serves as a scientific research station for the study and conservation of plant life in the region. The garden covers an area of about 159 hectares and is situated on the Crocodile River, which flows through the garden. The garden has several different habitats, including grasslands, forests, and wetlands, which support a rich diversity of plant and animal species. The botanical garden is home to more than 600 plant species, including many rare and endangered species. Some of the notable plants found in the garden include the Cycad encephalatos transvenesus, the sausage tree Kigelia africana, and the wild banana Strelitzia nicolai. The garden also has a collection of succulent plants, which are adapted to survive in dry conditions. Aside from being a tourist attraction, the botanical garden is also used for scientific research and education. 
researchers and students from universities and research institutions in South Africa and around the world visit the garden to study its plant and animal life. The garden also has a herbarium, which contains a collection of dried plant specimens for research purposes. Overall, the Lofeld National Botanical Garden is an important institution for both tourism and scientific research in South Africa. In October 2009, the South African government officially renamed the town of Nelspreet to Mbombela. The name Mbombela means many people together in a small space in the Siswati language, which is spoken by many people in the region. The decision to rename the town was somewhat controversial, with some people in the region arguing that the name Nelspreet had historical significance and should be preserved. However, proponents of the name change argued that the new name would better reflect the diverse and multicultural nature of the region, and would help to promote a sense of unity and inclusiveness among the people who live there. Today, the town is known as Mbombela and is the capital of Mpumalanga province in South Africa. It remains an important center for trade, commerce, and agriculture in the region, and is home to a number of important institutions, including the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature and the Kruger Mpumalanga International Airport. Mbombela is a growing and dynamic city that is home to a diverse population of people from many different backgrounds. The city has a rich cultural heritage, with many different languages and traditions represented among its residents. Some of the most widely spoken languages in the city include C. Swati, I. C. Zulu, I. C. Corsa, and Afrikaans, although English is also widely spoken. The city is known for its natural beauty and its popular tourist destination, with many natural attractions and cultural landmarks that draw visitors from around the world. Some of the most popular attractions in the area include the Kruger National Park, the Lofeld Botanical Garden, and the Sudwala Caves. The success of the citrus industry in the Nelspreet area can be attributed to the region's favorable climate and soil conditions, as well as the efforts of early pioneers like the Nell brothers who established farms in the area. Today, the Nelspreet area remains an important center for citrus production in South Africa, with many farmers using advanced techniques and technologies to grow and export high-quality citrus fruits to markets around the world. The Farmers Association in the Nelspreet area has played a significant role in the development of citrus farming in the region. The association, which was founded in the early 1900s, has worked to promote the interests of citrus farmers in the area and to support the growth of the industry. The Nelspreet area is known for its production of citrus fruits, particularly oranges, and the first citrus fruits from the region were exhibited at a horticultural show in London in 1905. Over the years, the association has helped to establish best practices for citrus farming, including irrigation methods, pest control, and harvesting techniques. As a result of these efforts, the Nelspreet area has become one of the most important citrus-growing regions in South Africa, with millions of citrus trees planted in the region. It's worth noting that the success of the citrus industry in the Nelspreet area has not been without its challenges. 
In recent years, the industry has faced a number of issues, including water shortages, disease outbreaks, and fluctuations in global demand for citrus fruits. Nonetheless, the Farmers Association and other stakeholders in the industry continue to work to address these challenges and to ensure the long-term sustainability of citrus farming in the region. Thank you for watching. We would greatly appreciate giving this video a like and subscribe to our channel, which will help us bring you new videos.